Hi, I'd like to talk about a company called New Zealand King Salmon Investments. It was recently listed on the New Zealand Stock Exchange under the ticker NZK, and it's one of a few listed aquaculture companies with an enterprise value of $150 million. Its share price has recently fallen from $1.12 when it was listed last month to $1.07 today, and it is currently trading on a forward EBITDA multiple of seven times, which is below other aquaculture companies and other protein producers. It is also trading at a dollar at a discount to the $1.22 valuation on share clarity. New Zealand King Salmon is a vertically integrated aquaculture company that owns and operates um, salmon hatcheries, saltwater farms and a processing plant in the South Island. Most of its salmon is wholesale to grocery store and stores and food service providers in New Zealand, North America and other parts of the world. It also produces and sells value-added and packaged products like smoked and cured salmon under its Ara King, Regal and Southern Ocean brands. When I looked at the valuation on Share Clarity, I was less interested in its forecasts which were in line with guidance and more interested in how they compare to other aquaculture companies like Tassel, Huon, Salmon and even Clean Seas Tuna. Its growth rates, inventory balance, return on capital employed, interest coverage and debt to capital ratios were all in line with its peers. What stood out was its EBITDA margin, uh, which was considerably less than other companies, even Huon which wholesales most of its salmon. And this could suggest there's incremental value to be realized from any operating efficiencies or moving further down the value chain into value added and branded products.